an old concept. It is the uh, Mayhem Mania, uh, a, a, a game we did on the back end of the show here uh, for, in the lead up. I think we did, we started a lot later than we are currently. Uh, but uh, this this was this led to a lot of controversy last year, um, and 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 uh, some 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 her friendships. Feelings. Her feelings. Mm-hmm. Some friendships were ended. And, I think uh, Mike and Riz stopped talking to each other for a few for weeks. For a little bit. For a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so, I had a lunchbox with a chair. It, it, yeah, it got it got <laughs> pretty did. violent. It got pretty <laughs> weird for a little bit there. So uh, it, it seems like the right time to bring it back uh, here before Rumble. When it, it, well, oh Matt, you you're saying you know you, you just wrote about it and we've been talking about the perfect time because it's so up in the air with everything going on right now. Everything's all crazy, Sorg. So we gotta we're gonna bring this back, and I'm glad. Justin's here because we need someone who has no knowledge of what in the hell this is so we could try to explain it to him. So I'm kind of hoping <laughs> you guys are going to help me out. All right, you I'll, are our guinea this, pig. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of going back to the uh, the final write-up we did on Mayhem Mania last year. So I actually put one in the in the Slack doc if you want to pull this up. Ooh, if you okay. want to show people the, the eight-match super card that we ended up with, which was pretty good. Uh, but basically, um, Mayhem Mania is kind of a competitive thought experiment. Um, the object basically is to create the best WrestleMania card possible, not necessarily to predict what WWE is going to do. We're trying to create something even better. Um, so we're trying to come up with eight matches. Um, and for these first couple rounds, basically the four of you are going to get to conjure up any match you can pick out of your little brain out of thin air. Um, and then next week we'll bring back four guys and they will conjure up another four matches and then we'll have the eight match card and then things really get fun because then we'll get to get, bring guys in and they'll get to make changes that they want to make to the cards. So if they don't like something, they'll be able to throw something out. Um, and basically matches that survive for a certain amount of time, maybe two or three weeks, and I think three weeks is what we went with last yeah. year. If you, if your match survives untarnished, un, uh, unaltered for three weeks, it graduates to the super card. And basically we're trying to fill out the eight match super card. Um, so that's kind of loosely how the game works. Um, I'm sure it's confusing I'm coming at you real fast and furious. Another thing I got to point out is that when we're creating these matches, we are creating these in the real world. We are not, um, we can't break the laws of this wrestling world that we live in here today so this isn't fantasy booking uh justin this is reality booking huh um so uh if you wanted to say i want to see if if you wanted to i'm sorry come again you're telling me the ultimate warrior can't come back from the dead yeah exactly we cannot bring the ultimate warrior back from the dead um if you wanted if bobby once said i want to see beer money versus the new day then we got to be like I'm sorry, Bobby, but Beer Money's under yeah, contract to TNA. They ain't coming. Now, that was my match. There's a whole lot of other kinds that you could pick from um, to do something like that. So, you know how I love my um, Beer Money. I, oh, don't we all? <laughs> no. um, um, so, I mean, but basically, I mean, you could create a tag match. You could create a three-way, four-way. Don't create a battle royal. That ruins it for everybody. <laughs> so, everyone. <laughs> everybody. Uh, no one versus all matches. I'm putting my foot down at that. Uh, and basically, if um, you know, if it feels like one of you has crossed the line, someone's going to speak up. So uh, let's see how we uh, can pull this off. Um, LB, I know you've got somewhere to be. So uh, is there anything uh, you would like to create? Well, uh, well, I guess there is. Yes, there is. Now, last year I had a, a baby of a match. I had a, I had a match that I cared about, and I commissioned other people to take care of it for me, and they fucked me and the asshole <laughs> repeatedly until my match no longer existed. Not holding a grudge, not mentioning any names, but uh, <laughs> go fuck yourself. So uh, I'm gonna go uh, out in left field. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick a match that I'm emotionally invested in because this is the first round of Mayhem Mania. We're gonna do this. Uh, we're gonna do this a little differently and be a little smarter about it. Because I know by the time you know in a couple of weeks this match will no longer exist, or it'll be in some fucking format that I don't even recognize, or it'll be a, a you know ladder throw sling around mud pie match. So well, here's what we're gonna have. All right. So such a positive you don't way to show start your hand this. in the first week. Yeah, yeah that's, a good, no. that's a good strategy. Yeah. Exactly. If you're if you're you're at work and you got the white elephant, you don't take the Amazon gift card right away. You take the shitty candle, knowing you're going to get the Amazon gift card later. So, 
That's how you do it. That's yeah. just how you do it. This is how you do it. So uh, first thing, first match uh, on the WrestleMania card, we're going to keep this uh, real simple. We're going to have the New Day, all three of them, versus... I should be writing this down. I should be writing this down. Are you writing this down? The, please pardon my handwriting. Go on, LB. Let's see here. We're going to have the New Day, and they're going to oh, be hey. facing... Okay. All three. All three of the New Day. Hmm. You didn't think this through, did you? I didn't. I didn't come up with another tag team. I was going to say... Know. I was going to say the Lucha Dragons, but okay. who, would, who would their third be? Who would the third person in the Lucha Dragons so be? If only there was someone else Mexican under WWE contract for us to put in that match with them. What? That's racist. That's, not, that's, that's, that's branding. Something. They don't all have to be in the same match. That's branding. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's have – I'll tell you what. It, it, this is this is just a, a – Main roster guys, can we bring up people from NXT? Sure, you can. Yay! Okay. How about injured people? Anything within the realm of reality. How about okay. No conjuring up dead people. Injured? And no bringing back injuries? wrestlers who will never come back. I, I want to point out. I'm looking at last year's card, and there's yeah, a lot of people. Count. This is real time right now. There's, there's a lot of people okay. on this okay. card last year that are still in NXT. So, like a lot of people. So. Yeah, we went wild. Throw, throw, throw that in. So there. we can bring up from NXT, but we can't use injured superstars. You can't okay. use a currently injured guy. You can okay. kind of bring up a guy who will actually show up at okay. the show. Okay. okay, I got it. I got it, and I'm really excited about this. This is a match I would actually like to see. We got the New Day, right? Minus Xavier Woods. We're going to pull him right out of there. Because oh, okay. It's going to be a two-on-two -two versus Enzo and Cass. Ooh, oh, yeah. like okay, okay. And for like 10 that. minutes before the match, it's just them talking to each other on the mic. Nice. <laughs> just like having it. a conversation being bonkers in a rap battle match in a rap battle that's what i would like to see <laughs> there you go the first I hear, match. Uh, I hear big Cass has a lovely voice so. i would yes. i yes oh. okay so uh with, with that i'm gonna i'm gonna boogie on out of here folks have guys have a good um mayhem mania and uh everyone at home uh check out panel riot panel riot.com we have a new episode up this very week do you like Battlestar galactica uh well why what <laughs> all right <laughs> uh, all right thank you lb dj lunchbox on the holy thanks crap. bye guys Later, um, lunchbox. um but anyways uh who do you want to go next here bobby uh, let's maybe? go to bobby next. let's go to bobby go bobby next. what do you got yeah, you, you you next bob all right well i about had a heart attack because uh i thought will was going to take one of my people <laughs> uh i'm gonna go with the united states champion Kalisto. Versus, oh shit, he's injured. Uh, it's a long so list right versus, now. You didn't versus, think this through, did you? Well, I, he's coming back soon, if that has any indication. Um, I'm going to go with NXT superstar Sami Zayn. He just came back. Okay. I get the feeling you've got more guys coming. Right. Yeah. Versus right. Neville in a three-way dance. There you go. Okay, okay. That's your that's your fun match of the night. Flippy guys. That's your flippy guy match. <laughs> okay. All right. It's here for those flippy guys. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Flippy guys. Sorry, I want you to go next. Okay. Okay. Um, let me go. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and throw down Kevin Owens. I think it's a pretty right. safe bet here. We we, we want them want him in there. Um, I don't want to go something safe like Dean Ambrose. I think that's going to fizzle out. Whatever's going to happen there before WrestleMania is no way. It's, it's still it's already been going for a little bit. Um, so it's got to be something else interesting. Not a Dolph Ziggler. That's not very exciting. Um, as far as somebody else that can come back, like I want somebody Stone Cold like, but not really. Maybe you think you could have a good match with Jericho? Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I want to throw him against Jericho, but I want Jericho that I watched from 2008, not maybe. Well, fortunately, that is in with, within the realm of possibility. So if you we want have a time machine, suit wearing though. Jericho, you can have a suit wearing oh, Jericho. Oh, in my mind, yeah. He comes back. He's, I, I know it doesn't make sense unless Owens kind of turns face in this, in this regard. 
You know, honestly, if Jericho came back with a suit, he'd pretty much be a face anyways, right? At this point. Like, it's like Ric Flair doing a dirty attack does not make him a heel at this point, right? Um, yeah, I want to have weird amalgam uh, Jericho in the suit, but we like him. Let's do it. Jericho. And in my mind, this is 19, this is like 2005, 2008 Chris Jericho, and this is a barn burner match. And this is, everybody's been down on Jericho for these weird matches he's been having, although he had a classic against Amen, Neville. who shall remain nameless. Amen, Amen is a very, but he, he didn't grow up. He was like, he was like two when, when, when uh, Jericho Hall, uh, Jericho Hallism was a uh, was a, a addictive thing that the country was dealing with. Twelve step um, program. Twelve step program. Um, I think it was on the back of my shirt I bought back then. Uh, so so Jericho pops up, um, shows he can still go uh, in a in an awesome match with Kevin Owens. Completely brutal. Um, that's what I got. So Jericho, will, you, will he wrestle in the suit? No, like a that's weird. Match. But it'll, so but, it'll be but suit versus shorts and t shirt. This is like the a side booking, and I hope you can find me a, 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 a picture of this. He goes back to the long tights. Oh, that would be lovely. That's the real coup right uh, there. All right, Justin. Well, if we're, like in realm of, if we're staying in realm of possibility, but we're going fantasy, I'm going to go with AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan. A simple nice. marquee grudge match. I like uh, it. WWE can just let these two guys let the internet jack off uh, <laughs> and, and let it go would be that because Dan O'Brien's not going to be in any more world title matches because he can't he, it's too much of a risk to WWE like it or not and the entire Bullet Club is not going to all be together I don't think at that point and they might not even go that route so I just think you just have a simple jack off match of AJ Styles versus Dan O'Brien and I want you to mark it down Matt as a jack off match. Jack off match? Is that a stipulation? That's a stipulation. It is. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever person in the match uh, ejaculates quicker, or whatever fan representative in the crowd ejaculates quicker, uh, comes under the, the stipulation. It's your jack what, off match. A match like that from Vince Russo. <laughs> maybe so, like but, <laughs> maybe so. But I'm taking full credit of it because okay, it's the jack off WrestleMania match brought to you by Share Shot Reality. Um, exactly. I would, go. I would sometimes, I would be tempted to call shenanigans on putting yeah. Daniel Bryan in here, but I know that you know, you know things, so I'm going to let this one go. <laughs> what? What is? Uh, I, I don't know the latest. What is the? Like, is it all but confirmed? AJ's in there within the next couple of weeks. AJ, AJ, I, I would, I would, uh, if you, and I encourage everybody here and your listeners to use WrestleRumble.com where you can you know, bet you can put in 10 bucks and, and, and predict the outcomes. And in this case, predict who comes in at exactly what position one through 30 a rumble, the winner wins 500 bucks. And there's prizes beyond that. I would say it is a, is in the words of Vince McMahon, it's guaranteed AJ styles would be one of the 30 guys. Now what number that's where you have to get creative. Uh, but AJ Styles is going to be, he's the only guy that you can see because mm-hmm. he's not working the contract. He's ready to go. Uh, Gallows, right. who I love personally, him and Anderson, you're going to see soon, but I think you're going to see him in the next team first. Uh, Nakamura, granted, he's getting out of his New Japan stuff. He still needs to move over here. He still needs a work visa. He also needs to be hyped. They understand they cannot let him debut cold right. because there's a lot of people in WWE audience, the younger fans, that don't know who the hell he is. So they need to, they have to do the Sin Cara route and they need to show hype videos <clears throat> and build him up. I think he's a prime guy for the night after Mania, so to speak. But AJ Styles is the one guy you have to play with in this fantasy booking lead to Mania. And if Daniel Bryan's healthy enough by Mania and they want to use him, you don't put him in a title match. But if you still want to appease Bryan and still want to appease the audience, you put him in a marquee jackoff match. Wrestling marquee. turn. Awesome. I, I wish I could make that the title of this show. Marquee <laughs> jackoff match. But I, I, you know, considering it's right next to like mindfulness podcast i can't do that uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right the Be first mindful, you jack off. <laughs> a review what does the first half of wrestlemania look like matt oh yes thank you very much Sorg. it's going to be uh the new day kofi and the Big E versus enzo and Cass. it's going to be Kalisto versus Sami Zayn versus adrian neville it's going to be kevin owens versus chris jericho in a suit and it will be the marquee jack off match presented by chair shot reality AJ Styles versus Dan McBride. 
I have a feeling last week will last long. <laughs> four of you fellas, four more fellas will land four more matches onto this eight match card, and then the fun will begin. Then the tampering begins, oh, and yes. uh, the hurt feelings begins, and we'll see if one of these matches can make it to the very end. See I think I, I like the uh, chances of some of these. These are good. I, I think it's a good start. I think it's a very strong start. I feel I feel good about that. All right, well, we'll stay tuned on there. Mayhem Mania, there'll be updates, and you're still doing a weekly update on that. Uh, you're you're going to do a write up uh, that will. We'll I'm working on, on well. it as we speak. You're working as we like with his other hand. He's typing a blog right now. Remember, long pants, right here, yeah. right. <laughs> long pants Jericho picture. Long pants Jericho picture.